Bow, yo people, damn, it's myself, you already know the name. Hold tight, ASC Predict Gang, each and every single time. Make sure you go to the YouTube page, you subscribe to the YouTube page, and you like and comment on the videos. All comments are welcome, all feedback is acknowledged. Yeah, man, get involved and uh, become a part of AFC Predict yourselves. Um, FC Barte Borisov. How the fuck did we lose to these, man? No game since, what, December? These men are in pre-season. It's already been stated that these men have... Their match fitness wasn't 100%. They was worried about the game. We fly out there with a very, very strong squad. And we lose. Okay, yes, it's half time. We've got the second leg. But it's not the point. How the fuck are we going to FC Barte Borisov in the middle of Belarus or wherever the fuck it is and losing like that? That was one dog shit performance. That game was just fucking boring. It was bullshit and it was bollocks. Once again, we had no creativity through the middle. We had a little bit of creativity on the wings. Even then again, I think Mkhitaryan didn't have a very good game. Everyone's quick to get onto Ozil's back about, oh, he's tracking back and helping the defence out. Mkhitaryan was hardly doing that. He had a poor game. It won't be tried. Probably one of our better players, but his end product is just needs to improve really, really bad. It's becoming a joke now. I can't see these comparisons that people are saying about Sterling and Awobi. Because a new manager come in and Sterling's fucking shit up. A new manager's coming for us and Awobi's doing the same thing he was doing last season. He's good with his skills, he's good with his feet, he's quick, but the end product is just dodgy. It's like he panics. But let's just not single out anybody. The whole fucking team. That was bullshit. Every player played absolutely shit. Lacazette, I don't blame him for the sending off. He's frustrated. Lack of service. Lack of creativity. Man's having to come back to the halfway line. Past the halfway line. To fight for the ball. That's our striker. Why has he got to come that far back? That shouldn't be the way. It's fucking wrong. I don't blame Lacazette for the sending off. It was a shit fucking game. We got the second leg coming. And we need to turn it around. Because if we get knocked out to fucking FC Barte Borisov, we're the butt of all jokes. FC Banter Club, traditioned. Might as well put the little quotation marks on Arsenal for that. Because we are right now, we are a banter club. We was quick to banter Man United when they got battered by PSG. But here are the levels. Man United lost in the Champions League to Paris Saint-Germain. We lost in the Europa Cup to FC Barte Borisov. Home or away is unfucking acceptable. Last season, when we lost, was it to Ostersunds at home? Everyone was on Wenger's back. I'm sorry. Emery's getting everything wrong right now. He needs to sort this Ozil situation out. He needs to sort a game plan out. He needs to sort a game plan B out. Because it looks like we've got no plan B. Beginning of the season, we were second half FC. We come out fighting. Like we'd want to win. We're having 20 minute spells again. It's not good. It is really, really not good. We cannot be losing to FC Barte Borisov. Simple as that. We've got the second leg coming. We've got to hope we turn that around. Because we need this Champions League football. We need that money, man. Emery needs to put this Ozil situation behind him. We need Ozil playing. We need him in, in, in that attack. Ozil's not going nowhere, yeah? Let me, let me just get this out there. You can try and force someone out the club as much as you want. From time you're hitting almost 31, you're on 350 a week, 
and you know the fans love you, all the players around love you, you're not going to go nowhere. You're going to make it the hardest time for that club to get rid of you. We need him playing. Simple as that. It was a fucking disappointing game, disappointing fucking performance, and we've got to turn it around. Boy, man. These fucking pussy holes. Why, why are you going to be acting like pussy holes, man? It's fucking bullshit, man. But we go again on Thursday. Match prediction en route. It's myself. Don't forget what I said. Subscribe to the YouTube page, AFC Predict Gang. Like all the videos and comment, man. We're out of here.